Fourth inning baseball, Astros leading two to one. We are joined by Reed Ryan, team president in the booth. Reed, good to see you. Hello, men. Good to see you after a couple of home runs right there. Well, leave it. Good, good time timing. to come in. Good time. It's been a fun start to the season for the Astros. Yeah, I'll tell you what it has. I mean, the way the club's played, uh, people in the city are energized. All Everywhere I go, I'm getting uh, comments on uh, not just the, the pitching, but the hitting and everything. It's been a great year. C.J. Crone leads things off for the Angels here in the fourth inning. Really the combination read of watching different ways to win. We've seen the team have the offensive surge on the road and the pitching's been so good here at home. Yeah, I mean going to the start of the year everybody was wondering about the pitching and the starting pitching's been phenomenal and I think the moves that Jeff made this offseason and all of our baseball ops guys have really brought a balance to this team that Astro fans haven't seen the last couple of years and we can beat you a lot of ways still with the long ball. Uh, guys that can put the ball in play take walks steal bases the defense is phenomenal and I think we have as balanced a club now with the Astros as I've seen as a fan you know in the last 10 years. Yeah you definitely have done a very good job with the balance talk about a little bit about how important it was to bring in some of these veteran guys into that young clubhouse. We well, you know I actually saw Reddick today on intentional talk and <laughs> he did a great job in seeing you know him talk about McCann and Beltron and himself now being 30 years old and, and taking more of a leadership role. Uh, it's guys that have been through the battle and then you throw in our young guys in, in 15 even though we didn't get past that first round. Uh, you know Springer's got playoff experience Correa Altuve all these guys it's going to come back to really help us down the stretch and hopefully in our own you know postseason runs for the next couple years. Grown grounds out to Altuve to start the inning. Here's Cameron Maben. Seems like every game we've been here, doesn't matter if it's been opening day or any game since, the center field area is the place to be. It really has been fun. I've been going out pretty much every night, mixing with the fans, getting a feel for what it's, uh, you know, what it's been like for them. And we've been uh, tweaking along the way, have some more changes we'll be making. But overall, I think we really got it right with trying to come up with a space that fans could enjoy, that offered something different that this park didn't have. And now we have our front porch. That center field area is like the front porch of Minute Maid Park where people go to hang out and talk and just keep take in good times with your, your fellow Houstonians. I think we're going to have a question on Twitter for you. There it is. Okay. I really want to bring my family to the Lexus Field Club. Can we buy individual tickets? So right now we are not selling individual tickets. It is a group area and we've broken it up into really uh, either 50 people or 100 people because part of that Lexus uh, field suite is that you also get to shag batting practice with the team. That's included. Which is included with that. Now we may change later on. I've gotten a lot of questions tonight about that and, and may do some special things over the course of the year. But right now we're starting with that being a group area and really we're letting sort of the market dictate all of the spaces and which way we're going to go with them. Three and two the count to Cameron Maven Reed Ryan joins us team president on this Twitter Tuesday if you have any questions send them via at root sports SW. Reed when you look at all the people out there and you mentioned you have your front porch. It's a nice porch in that there are mo multiple levels. There's multiple food options out there. You, you can pretty much mix and match it to your particular design. Correct. Well, we went around and looked at a lot of the stadiums, and it has a little bit of Seattle. It has a little bit of Colorado, Baltimore in there. And so it's a mix of group areas. Uh-oh. Nice. Bare hand play by Bregman. What a play. It, isn't it nice having three shortstops on the team and having you know, when you one of them's out and have another one just move over there. Tell you what, that was a heck of a play. He's uh, he's done it all year with the leather. So let's take a look at that again. No, it really has. Joe's actually done a good job of getting in the kitchen with some of these angel hitters. But how about getting your body in a position to be able to make that barehanded throw on the run? Well, between that play and when he sawed off Pujols earlier, and was that I mean, not that, incredible? That's the the best saw. I was with my dad. He's here tonight. <laughs> he goes, "Wow, he jammed him big time right there." And you don't get to say that on Albert Pujols that often. So good for Joe. We'll make sure Julia gets that message to Joe Musgrove after the game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and Nolan said, "Wow." Well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's pretty cool. Two outs, uh, nobody on. Angleton Simmons, the batter. But going back to center field, so what we wanted to do was try to create something that, that brought that communal feel that we talked about. And then also be able to service all of the other areas that we were taking out, because we were displacing the old Bud patio, which people love. And so we were able to keep uh, that feel of having three individual sort of group areas on the Bud patio open up the top of it to everybody put the pre and post game show out there put our guys out in the middle of the fans 
create something uh, like the Bud Batter's Eye where you could have season tickets up on top, bring in new concepts like Torchies and Shake Shack, and then the elevator and, and the stairway has become one of the most popular things as people love to congregate and look into the bullpen, and we created a little landing above the bullpen. All those areas are open to the general public, and lots of fun spots on the Torchies area where you can just go hang out and enjoy the game. Yeah, there you see the fans you're talking about. Well, yeah. for me, being behind the plate and around the dugouts is where everybody usually typically wanted to be. But when we did that tour out there in center field, that is a phenomenal view, even though you're further away from home plate. Well, you guys know I've been in this game my whole life, and I've worked at, at pretty much every level. And one thing I've learned is that everyone likes baseball from their own perspective. There's some that want to be behind home, see the pitches. There's some that want to be where they can catch a foul ball. And some people honestly just want to come hang out and enjoy the atmosphere. And don't really care whether you know they're in the middle of the action. They want to be in the middle of the action with their friends and the people that they're with. And so I think we now have really hit on every single aspect of the ballpark experience. Yeah, that's a good shot of it right there. Yeah, Who was the first one to stick their shovel in Towels Hill? Well, you know, we, we did it with a fan out here, and Jim <laughs> Crane and myself and a few of us were out there. And, and I love the look of the hill and the history of the hill. But when people came out, I said, just give us a chance. What we're envisioning and what we're wanting to put in place is beyond just a hill or no hill. And now that people have come out, can't tell me folks that go, go, man, you guys nailed it. Like, yeah. you just nailed it. And uh, little things like the escalator going up now to that home run deck under the scoreboard, uh, people love sitting there, but it was really hard for them to get to. So. It's been a fun project, and uh, you know now that the team's playing well, and we're back at home, and we've had a home run out there now. Uh, everything's going great. Yeah, George scared the people up at the uh, the batter's eye bar. They thought they might come their way. Huh? Well, I was over in the press box, and a kid reached over. He thought he was going to make that play, <laughs> and that that ball hit above the star. I, I mean, it was 444. I think they said that's. That would have been out of the old one, so uh, we'll never know if the first home run would have been out of the original Towels Hill or not. <laughs> one of the fans just tweeted a minute ago: Is it still the deepest center field without Towels Hill at 409, or it's just amongst sixth? Yes, yeah, sixth deepest. There's a call, third strike. You have to get back, or you can you stay another? Um, yeah, can do another half. We'll, do, we'll take a couple more Twitter questions with Reed Ryan in the bottom half of the inning as Joe Musgrove through four.